Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys how to put in a boat with an eel. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my ocean floor. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and put in this shape right here. I'm putting in a point like that, smaller to bigger as it goes down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and round down right to there. So here is the front end of my ship. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put in the mast. I think it's called the mast. And then I'm going to go ahead and break it. And when I break it, I also want to show the back side of the break. That gives it a little bit of depth. Okay. Next thing here, I want to go ahead and put in an old sail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear the sail. And I'm going to make it look like it's going around the mast. So here I'll erase that because we don't want to make it transparent. And then if it's flowing behind there, we can go ahead and rip it right here. And then you can show a couple lines. Like it's flowing through the water right there. Pretty cool. Now, next thing. Some really cool effects that I want to show you. This is not part of the um, ship itself. But when we think of, you know, depth and stuff like that. I can make a hole in my paper really quick for you. I have this crazy looking line. Now watch this. Doom. I make a line down, line straight down. Every time I got a point here, I go ahead and make lines straight down. And now I have a hole in my paper. If I was walking, I'd be like, ah, boop, and I fall right in the hole. See? Next, I can also use these kind of ideas as a cliff. So I take these lines back this way, back this way, back that way, back that way. And now I have a cliff edge. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. So what I'm going to do, though, is to show thickness of uh, the boat or the wood. Okay. Um, let's reverse real quick. I want to show you one more thing with this because this is kind of a cool effect, too. If I had broken glass or a shard on the ground and it has thickness to it, another concept would be this would be here 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 and you see that if that was a shard of glass or some kind of thickness of a broken material um it would be just like that having that 3d sense to it now let's go ahead and get back to the ship i'm gonna go ahead and break a piece off in here And like I said, I want to show thickness to it, so I'm going to go ahead and put in these lines like I showed you earlier. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put in my eel. Now, let me show you really quick what this eel can do, okay? Ta-da! There's my eel. Do you see it? All right, watch. I make a line down. I make a line down. This is starting to look familiar from the last thing I just showed you. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and curve this line to here. I'm going to curve this line up here. Go ahead and connect. Make a line down. Make a line down. And then... Check it out. You have your eel. Now, what's really cool about this is, you know, I... You see a lot of, uh, if you check, follow my social medias and stuff like that, flags are seem to be very popular. You could even use this as a flag blowing in the wind. You could use it any kind of ribbon blowing in the wind or laying on the ground and stuff like that. This is a very useful tool or to understand it. So let's show you one more time. If I was doing this again, or just a piece of ribbon floating in the wind. Ta-da! Simple as that. Now... If I want my eel coming out of this hole in the ship, I go ahead and create these lines. I follow. There, 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 there. I just kind of showed you a little different right there. <laughs> but you guys get the idea now. And he's obviously not transparent, so we need to erase these lines that are inside of here. And now I have my eel coming out of my ship. And if I want to, I can make lines come in from here. 
And I'm not going to make a lot of them because I don't want it to be, you know, overbearing. And then I can stagger a few pieces in here to make it look like it's the wood. Give it a little bit of texture. And then I'm even going to throw in some backside of the sand. That way it looks like it's actually buried into the sand. Ta-da!